Do you want to improve at a quicker pace? Check out the Git Good course. Instead of just understanding concepts, you'll learn how to implement them directly into your driving. What makes it effective is the approach and practical drills. Together, we're gonna focus on breaking down those complex concepts into small digestible bits that are simple to understand. Everything from the course was tested and refined during the years in coaching sessions, so what I ended up with was the ones that I saw were the most effective. Let's elevate your racing skills together. Now for the track guide. Since Spa is one of my favorite tracks of all time, for this lap, in order to have a bit of fun, I used the push to pass button, so this lap in terms of lap time will be comparable if you're gonna use it as well. Nothing will change, you will have the same breaking points, the same approach, just that whenever you're using the push to pass, obviously you're gonna have a higher top speed. So now going into the track guide itself, for turn one, my reference for braking is this dirt around the center of the track. Uh, it's not likely visible in the recording, but if you will go on track, you will notice some dirt sands around here. After you pass them, that's the moment that you can apply the brakes. Or you can use this orange part in the, in the wall on the left side, that's also gonna work. But since you have to look on the left side and then the corner is on the right, then it's gonna be a lot more difficult to do it properly. So the easiest reference that you can use are reference that are already in your, in your line of sight. So looking at the tarmac and noticing that dirt parts on the tarmac, that's gonna be your, uh, your go-to braking point. In terms of braking, you want to brake hard, you want to go to 100% braking because you have 200 kph, so you have to shave this speed, and this is a low speed corner. But also, we, ne we need to take into account that we need a good exit since it leads to a huge straight. So what I'm doing is, I'm turning as late as I can into the corner, I'm going as close as I can to this wall right here, so use this curve, but what happens now is that if you will push the throttle, the car will be so so unstable, so you need to be patient, so whenever you go on throttle in this phase, you have to modulate it, you don't have to stomp on it. I have to go very gently, look, I'm still building it up, building it up, and at this point, whenever you go from the curb, to um, the part of the tarmac, whenever you're going to a higher elevation, the grip levels change. And because of that, you have to go even softer on the throttle. So the grip levels are changing. You have to reflect this in your inputs. You have to go a bit softer on the throttle. And now when, once the car goes past that small hill, let's call it like that, after the elevation change, when the track is a bit straightforward, and you have a bit less of steering lock, then you will be a bit more aggressive with the throttle. But even then, notice at this point in time, I'm flat out. So it's gonna take you a while to arrive from zero to 100% throttle, but that is to be expected. Also notice this little trail brake around here, 1% braking. You want to be on, on the brakes at all time, on the brakes on the throttle. If you will hold the brakes too much, like if you will trail brake in higher percentages, there is a big chance that you will overheat the inside right and you will your car will turn less. So you will have difficulties in putting the power down because the car will still be pointing straight and it won't turn as much as you want to. So you have to be careful with the trail brake. For some people it would work just doing a small lift in between the inputs. I don't think it's gonna be ideal but the alternative is trail braking in lower percentage, like 1%, like what I'm doing here, 1%, 5%, that's gonna work. So work on that if you find yourself losing time in T1. Now for Eurusia and Radion, there's only one thing that I want to show you, and that is not going all the way to the wall. So notice here that I'm, mm, I'm a bit too far on the wall in this lap. Usually what I'm doing, I'm keeping the car a bit more towards the left side. So the right tire will be at the white line, but it won't touch the white line. This, uh, this lap is not the, the best example of that. I thought that I would uh, have a different line. But the idea is this. You don't need to open up these corners as much as you think so, because you have a lot of downforce with this car. 
and because you have a lot of downforce, you can be a bit more on the left, just a bit more on the left, and the car will still take the same line. And what you will gain is that you will cover less distance, because if you are a bit more towards the left side, the line that you're going to take in the corner will be a bit shorter. So you will cover less distance by doing this. Um, not a good example in this lap, but keep it in mind. That's the only thing. And here you will have to cut a lot. Here you will have to apex late and hit this curb and then you will go over this part of the curb and everything is going to be fine. Now let's go to Le Combe. For Le Combe, what I'm using here as reference for braking is the center of the of this curve on the left side. You want to mount it, you want to put your left tires on it. In the middle of it, I'm applying the brakes. I'm not going to 100%, but 80 will be a good bet. And then we're in four gear while going into the corner, you want to mount this curb all the way and then put the throttle down. Same for this one. Notice that I'm trying to take it all the way to the grass. So you really have to use the curbs here. The only thing that matters though, after those two corners is the exit and you want to be in the center of the track. You don't want to be all the way on the right side because you won't have enough time to reposition and take the next corner almost flat with just a lift, small lift. So in order to do that, keep the car more towards the center of the track. If you find yourself going all the way to the right side and you're apexing early in the previous corner or you're carrying a bit too much speed, bring the car all the way to this curb to the point that you're touching the white line, then turning it to the corner. You're doing a lift, it's not flat, but you have to minimize this lift. And now going into the downhill part, break, breaking point will be the beginning of the curb, and I'm breaking diagonally going into this corner. I want to go and hit this first apex like this, so shooting the car straight away to the curb, now trailing, trailing in second gear, letting the car go deep, and then bring it back again, like this. It's okay if the car will be a bit more towards the left, because you have a lot of downforce and generally you can bring it back, but if you find yourself struggling to bring it back the right side, just stay a bit more towards the center. Now, the moment that I'm bringing it back here, all the way to the right side and touching the white line. Don't use this curb, um, it will unbalance the car, so just use the white line. I'm giving it a small break, 12%, and then immediately on power while clipping this curb. Using all the way this track, you need to have your left tires on the white line, otherwise it's gonna be an off track. And now for this corner right here, braking point would be at this um, car lights on the right side. So at this point, you want to turn, and do a small break, stay in 6th gear. In this lap I think I'm going to 5th, it's not ideal, you will see me losing this time. So see, I'm, I lost 1 tenth just because I'm going to 5th gear. Small break, stay in 6th, that's gonna be the best way. And now for this last part, the last corners before the long straight, breaking point will be past the curb. So at this point I'm breaking 80% brake pressure in 4th gear. And now I'm following this curb, and my idea right now is to be able to reach 100% throttle. So right now, 25, 70, 100. You see, this is my highlight. The moment that I will reach 100, I will just stay a blink of an eye, and then I'm dropping it while turning in the corner to make the front tires point to put a bit of weight on the front. So if you will reach that 100% throttle, first of all, you will have a better minimum speed. But also, whenever you're gonna do the lift, it's gonna be even better because you will move more weight whenever you're going from 100 to 0 compared to 70 to 0. So you will have more grip to turn the car as well. Using all the track here and for this corner, you need to go as quickly as you can to the left side. Use this dirt band early on to open up the corner. I'm braking before mounting the curb, as you can see going in third gear while using all the track, so all the way to the grass, third gear now, and now the minute that I'm, moment that I'm hitting this part of the curb and you want to hit it and use a lot of it, then you're putting the throttle back on and the flow is very nice. If you have the antenna on the drain, it's gonna be an off track, so be careful with that. And now for the last corner, for the bus stop chicane, two things going on. First of all, let's cover the shortest distance possible, so don't bring the car all the way to the left. That's gonna be a mistake. Stay on the right side and brake diagonally towards the corner. Hit 100% pressure. I'm braking 
slightly before I arrive at the curb. So the curb is here and I'm applying the brakes at this point, but I'm looking at the curb in front of me. Use this curb while turning into the corner even more than what I did here. You can put your left tires on it to open up the corner. You want to hit this part of the curb in first gear and the moment that you hit it, you will give it a blimp of throttle so the car will rotate from the rears to bring it more towards the right because you have a decent straight after this corner so you nearly need to open up and give it that blimp of throttle will help the car rotation to push it more towards the right and for this corner the moment that you see this one you will turn and just do a lift don't touch the red sausage curb as i do here you will lose like one tenth or so because uh you will delay your throttle application notice that i can't really commit because i hit it and use all the track on the exit and in short that's a track idle spa with the sf23 if you want to accelerate your progress, if you want to learn at a quicker pace, check out my sim racing course. It's a lot of value in it and it has a lot of practical drills for you to improve. And thank you for watching. Seeing you on the next one. Bye bye.